Hey, what's up? This is Max from cgmax7.com and I'm here to make a tutorial on how to render wireframe in T-Shot. Now, this is a request from a friend that uh, asking about how to render wireframe in T-Shot because basically when you render in T-Shot, it triangulates your geometry and you didn't get the output as a wireframe. Okay, so let's get started. Now once the modeling part is done, then we will create the UVs. I already created the UVs in here, but it can be done easily. If you select the whole model, accept the keyboard, and go to the create UVs, and do the automatic mapping. Now for this UVs, I already done the automatic mapping, and the result was this. And that is fine. I know it looks messy, but it's okay. We're going to use it in T-Shot. For the keyboard, I just did a planar mapping from the y-axis. So I'm going to select the whole UVs, except the keyboard, go to my UV texture editor, right-click, UV, and select the whole UVs. Then I will go to the polygons, UV snapshot. Now the size doesn't matter. You can create whatever size you want. I created 8K, and I already save it. But the most important thing, you want to make sure that you will saving as a PNG. Now once it's done, then we will move to the Photoshop. So let's jump into the Photoshop. Okay, now here we are in Photoshop. Now the wireframe looks like this, and which is fine. And once it comes into the Photoshop, then we can increase the intensity of the wireframe. Now I have the laptop as well the keyboard. Now these are in two separate layers. So I'm going to turn off the keyboard, come to the laptop, go to my levels and increase the intensity. You can change the color as well if you want. You can go to the hue saturation and just do a clipping mask holding down alt and do a clipping mask go to the color rise and change the color if you want once it's done then we're going to save it as a png make sure your black layer is turned off i'm going to do the same with the keyboard and once it's done then we will jump into the key shot okay now we are in T-Shot. Once you import your model, you want to make sure that you unlink your whole material because when you import your model, this will link up into a one material. So to unlink, go to your model, right click and go to unlink material. Once it's done, then you're going to assign a new material on it. For me, let's try with paint and matte and let's try with the gray. We'll assign it. Once it's assigned, then you will right click on the model, go to edit material, go to texture, colors, and I will select this wireframe which we already unwrapped from the Maya. Just open it. Once it's open it, We'll scroll down all the way and increase the brightness so it's visible. Now, unfortunately, it's not assigned properly. So you can use the mapping and we're going to use the UV coordinates. Once it's done, here we have the result. Now for the keyboard, I will right click and unlink the material and then right click again, edit material go to textures and this time I'm going to recall but the keys now it will take a little bit time to load up so once it's done we're going to use the same method use the UV coordinate and here we have the result now I'm using the lighting as a performance mode but you can choose whatever lighting you need I will make it as product and we have the wireframe render over here. Now this is the final version of wireframe in Keyshot. Now this can be really useful to present your model.
although I'm going to add the video format in a minute which I'll show you and uh, for the audio I'm really sorry about it it's kind of a cranky but for the full version if you want to see I'm going to add the link in the description below so hope you guys you enjoy this video so please like this video and subscribe this channel and share with your friends so it's going to be useful for them thank you and have a nice day